Today we're gonna check out season two of Tony Kawa. Let's jump into it. Logo reveal. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, and maybe even subscribe to the channel because I do a bunch of rom-com reactions. I, I love rom-coms. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. By the way, I watched season one of Tony Kawa before I ever did reactions. It was literally so early in my reactions that I just watched the first half of Hori Mia without doing reactions. And then like people were like, hey, you should check out, you know, Hori Mia. And I was like, oh, I've been watching that. Should I do reactions? And then people were like, yeah. And so I just started doing reactions for Hori Mia with episode six onward. You know what I'm saying? It was like literally some of my first series ever. Uh, so I did not react to this, uh, but I did watch it. I watched season one and I just watched the OVA, which you can find over on Patreon. I'm not gonna bring it over onto YouTube because it's, you know, it, it might not perform as well. Maybe I will. You know, if, if, this, if this video gets 400 likes, I will also upload the OVA reaction. How about that? Anyways, with all that said, let's jump into it. This must be a dream. Also, I've had this theory since like literally watching the first episode. I don't know, I'm probably wrong, but like there's a heavy focus on the moon. Typically that's because of Kaguya. So part of me thinks she is Kaguya. I'm pretty sure Kaguya is like a goddess or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know exactly about Japanese culture and, and, and like at the legends and, and folklore and all that stuff. But that's what I think. I think she is literally like this moon goddess because they have the moon rock inside of her home where she's from. And it's just some weird things. And so like I've kind of kept this as a theory since literally like episode one. Ooh, damn. God, that's with a kiss. He's stun locked. Aw, look at her. Y'all both get so easily embarrassed. I know that this is OP about to slap because I remember season one OP slap too. I just like it, man. Wait a minute. All right, man, I just gotta say, bro. I don't, they might have been hit. I didn't even realize until we're like near the end of it. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. They just showing her like different eras, bro. She probably is like some goddess or something, bro. I don't know. It's kind of weird, dude. It's a little weird, bro. It's a little weird. A little home. They're in a tiny little house. They're in a little one, one bed. Like, not even a one bed, but just a, a one room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Who? Okay, what the fuck was that, dude? Literally, there's sharks. This guy's got a fucking chainsaw. Chainsaw. For some reason, this kid is literally surfing when there's sharks, flying and shit. Right? That's weird. Yeah, I've never watched Sharknado, by the way, so I probably can't understand something like that. Shark and chainsaw. Wow. Okay. Is that a reference? Shark and chainsaw. Somebody, let me know in the comments. Do, do you get the reference? Do you get the reference? Who else does she voice, by the way? Oh, that's why I'm recognizing her voice, right? Wait, no. Okay, wait, I, I'm tripping. Oh, no, I'm not tripping, I'm not tripping. Yeah, yeah, she's the main character in Reborn to Master the Blade. I was thinking she sounded exactly like her. Oh, and she's Iwanaga in Inspector. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I recognize her voice instantly. I was like, whoa, hold on. That is a better idea. He does work really fast. I just watched the OVA. This man be zooming. Aw, that's, that's wholesome. So wholesome and cute. Damn. If I had more time, I would go and watch movies. Time to expose the things that you've done. Have you ever done anything bad? in the theater when watching a movie? You know in the comments below. Don't go into detail. Nobody wants to know the details, okay? Don't be weird. You could just be like, yes, I have done a bad thing in the movie theaters. You could say that, that's it. Let me know if you have, okay? I'm just interested. I don't wanna know what it is. Please do not go into detail. I'm being serious. This is not like a joke. Please don't go into detail. I, don't, I think there are plenty of people that do not want to know. And there are probably people that do want to know, but I, we don't care about that. That is just, that's weird. That's me, bro. I be enjoying movies earnestly, too. What is this? This is some Marvel shit? Aw, that's cute. 
That's wholesome. I don't know if I ever react. Actually, that's not true. I've totally cried watching movies, like in the movie theater. Over time doing reactions, you just become more comfortable reacting, right? And I react better if that makes sense. But it also has led me to the point where if I go watch a movie, literally something can happen and I will literally be reacting. Like, it's not like, oh, but like, it's like over the top, like, oh, type of shit. Like, I don't know why. It's just like, I no longer have this sense of like, oh, I'm in public. I, I must tone down my, my reaction. I currently, I just let it all out there. If I am reacting to anything naturally, it's just gonna naturally come out. I don't try and tone it down. I don't try to like, I don't try and hide my tears anymore. I just let that shit flow. Like Diana literally sits next to me and like, and she literally like just stare at me when I like overreact to something, but it's not an overreaction to me. It's it's just like my normal reaction. It's just that I no longer try to conceal that anymore because I am a reactor. Does that make sense? Whatever. I don't know if I'm making sense. I think when it comes to a marriage, I would wait until like I got I got bank. Until I had bank, I would not like do an actual like ceremony thing. I'll just like go get the paper signed, cool, we're married, and then like a couple of years later, maybe with the money, go for the actual like ceremony. Damn. Damn, why not? Okay, you're not cool with that? And why are these bad things? Oh, okay, he just finds it embarrassing. Okay. Ah. Uh, yo, what the fuck? She looked like a queen. What? Okay, a uh, little more planning than that, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you need more planning than that. He about to get isekai he keep on fucking around like that. <laughs> oh shit, he almost got isekai now that I think about it. What the fuck? What if he did get hit by the truck and this is like a, a new life that he got to live as like a second chance? And she's like a goddess that saved him and gave him the second chance and entered his life to be with him. I'm normally a dishes person. Diana's more of the cooker. The chef? She'd be doing the cooking. I do the dishes. I'm not like a cooking person. I suck at cooking, bro. I don't have it in me. I can make burgers. That's about it. Don't ask anything else of me. What? <laughs> for real, dude. What do you mean a reservation for two? Gondola? Ooh, watermelon, yummy. I don't know why I said yummy like I love watermelon. I don't actually like watermelon that much. I'm not a watermelon person, but uh, what's the other one? Oh, dude, what's the one? What are the melons? Hold on. Um, There is a melon I do fucking love. There is a really good one. Is it just normal melon? Honeydew, honeydew. That's the name of the one I like, I think. I'm not a big fan of watermelon. I like honeydew. Uh, Cantaloupe's fine as well. I don't like watermelon because it just kind of doesn't have a ton of flavor. And I get that that's like the appeal, right? I'm just not a huge fan of it, though. You know what I would love to do? I've seen like the thing where people take the watermelon and then they put the, the vodka in it or whatever. I want to try that shit sometime. That'd be pretty cool. I feel like I'm getting too old, though. I got to like make it happen soon. Otherwise, I will be too old to do it. Yeah, dude, it's a lot of fucking work, bro. And it costs a lot. You're going to. Nah. Nah, probably at least five grand. At least. The cheap one, five grand, right? Okay. That's at Disney, bro. What do you mean a certain kingdom that's magical? Yeah, dude, of course it's going to be $70,000. I'm saying like a wedding at like, I don't know, fucking hotel reception thing or like, you know, like a, a very like not so great venue, you know, that type of shit. I like five. Six thousand dollars, something like that. Seventy grand, or that's probably more like fifty-five or something, fifty-five, fifty-ish thousand. Eh, I'm saying it's fifty-seven thousand, and that's just nah, dude. 
Probably venue, the amount of guests, the food for all the guests, the extravagance of it all. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's funny, dude. That is funny. That's funny. I like that. No wonder everyone cries so emotionally. Yeah, you're spending so much money, dude. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> kind of be a waste of money not to cry your eyes out, right? Yeah, why don't they just use that crib, bro? They can literally hold the wedding there. First of all, it's really surprising that they just made like a Detective Conan reference in the middle of this. Like super chill about it. Also, a wedding between them? I've never watched Detective Conan. I don't get this. This must be some weird... Okay. I don't know, bro. Whoa, what the fuck? Y'all fighting for real now? I would worry less about form formalities too, dude. 200 guests? What the fuck? Yeah, I think that if I ever had a wedding, dude, it would be like 50 people, maybe. That's actually a lot, dude. 30? 35? Maybe? I just can't imagine it would be more than that. I don't think I have enough friends for it to be, like, too much. Ooh. Okay, well, y'all kind of going in right now on this animation and shit. This is not that serious. Why is there literally a fighting scene in the middle of this fucking rom-com? <laughs> Of course. I don't know. Ain't she the reason why the fucking crib bro burnt down or something like that? Am I tripping? I feel like I don't remember. It, it's been three years, you know? I literally haven't watched this shit in, I guess, two and a half years, technically, whatever. But it's been a while. Oh, that's cute. Bro, I wish, bro, my house doesn't have a bath. We ain't got no bathtub, bro. No bathtub. Whenever I... I just want to have a bath, dude. Some days... I, I'm not going to lie, dude. If I had a bathtub, I would probably use it, like, literally every single day. I probably would. Maybe it's a good reason I don't have a bath. That's kind of fair. That's kind of fair. Maybe maybe that's, maybe that's a good reason. Engagement party is more like 1800 points. Betrothal money? What the fuck is betrothal money, bro? Introductory lunch meeting. What the fuck is this? Outside of this the ceremony? What the fuck? What the fuck is betrothal money? Ten grand? I don't know what all this is. What is all this? Playing games on her phone. Just thinking about literally having to spend that much money on one event is crazy. Your fucking funds? Hello? Literally, if, if Diana and I got married today, there would be... I'm assuming this is how many people would go. It would be, obviously, the two of us. Family, family. Family, for me, is like... I say... I. I give it like five slots, maybe. That's probably too much, but I'm, I'm gonna give it five slots. And then her side, probably seven slots, I imagine would go. We'll call it eight. So now we're at 15 people. And then it's friends. <laughs> and then it's it's friends, and coworkers and stuff. I'd say five people on the side of like the coworkers thing for her. We literally probably have like seven friends combined. We don't really be having friends. Like it would literally be less than 30 people. I guess that's a good thing when you think about it. I don't really be have, I don't have friends. I have like, I have my really, really close friends, which is one, two, three, four people, four people. Um, oh, and then five, it's like five people. And then I got a couple of other friends, probably like another seven people. It's 12 people that I've got that I would invite that are friends. I would invite 12 people that are not my family. That's it. That's crazy, bro. I can't imagine getting up to like, there's no way we would ever reach 50 people. Dude, they're married, bro. Oh, 
Oh, uh, you know what? All the efforts, one thing, it's all the money that's got me tripping, bro. I, I could never think of, like, putting in that much money, dude. Why is the wedding magazine called Zexy? What is that supposed to be based on? Somebody let me know in the comments. Tasty milk, what? Mm. Oh, ice cream, bro. Yo, Diana and I, we we ordered um this this I don't know, Hagen Dazs has this like uh cookies and cream, like it's like, like an ice cream sundae almost, but like it it came in a cup. Not that shit like two nights ago. That was not a mistake. It was it was amazing. That was a that was a good night just because I had that ice cream, bro. Ice cream is fire, dude. But that shit's a book. That many regions? Damn. Or not regions, sorry, venues? Gives off real happiness vibes? Sealed up so nobody can take advantage of it and just read it in the, in the combini. What is that? That shit looks amazing. Oh my god, I want to eat that right now, bro. I don't know what it is, but I want it. I want it right now. Give it to me now. That shit looks delicious. That's cute. Maybe end of the season they get married? Kind of just foreshadowing it right now. I kind of want to go watch a movie, man. If I can find the time on Saturday or Sunday, I might. Too eager. That's cute. That's wholesome. I'm telling you, there's more to it though. There's something up, bro. I liked it. That was cute. This episode really focused on like an actual wedding for them. I enjoyed the OP. Oh, well, for I think it started off with a date, right? They went to the movies, which honestly, I kind of want to go to the movies. What movies are out right now? Movies in theaters. What's what's in theaters right now? I watched John Wick already, so. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. I think if I watched something right now, it would either be Dungeons and Dragons, ooh, Air. I wonder if that's good. Dungeons and Dragons, Super Mario, or Air. I wonder if any of them are like good. They're all certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I would watch one of those three movies. I basically asked Diana, hey, which one do you want to watch? She probably would not want to watch Dungeons and Dragons. Just keep it a buck. Also, we were never, like, I don't think she was a Nintendo kid, so I don't know if that's something that she would want to watch. Yeah, I don't know which one I would watch, man, but it would probably be one of those. It would either be Mario, Air, or Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. Anyways, okay, cool. So with that out the way, we get to see her little expressions and stuff. That was cute. And then they start talking about the marriage, okay? So that's what it really focused on. And I feel like that kind of opened up my eyes to the whole like concept and like how much it costs, which I already knew it was really expensive. Like Diana and I are engaged. And so, um, you know, marriage is definitely something there. It's just when it comes to marriage, I would probably just get married and then wait on a ceremony. Like a ceremony, I feel like, bro, you gotta have money for that shit. Ceremonies are expensive. But I'd probably wait until I actually had a lot of money saved up and then do a ceremony thing. And I feel like that's what most people should do. Don't waste all your money on, a, on some big extravagant thing. Also, don't rush into a less extravagant thing because I feel like that's a very important moment. You'll want to be more extravagant, you know? So don't rush into something and then have like this little like, eh, rinky dink wedding. And then, cause then when you look back on it years later, you're gonna be like, damn, that wasn't as good as, as I wanted it to be. Anyways, that's what I think. Maybe I'm wrong about it. Also, I don't think people should rush into marriage. I, think, I feel like that's a different that's a different topic. Oh, totally for another day. But yeah, they talked all about these marriage things and all this stuff. And so I think that they are really like giving us a hint at um, what is to come in this season. I think that by the end of the season, we'll actually have a real marriage, like a, a wedding ceremony. Until then, it'll just be whatever, you know? I'm hoping that we do get some more information about Sukasa because I feel like she's got, there's some up with her, bro. She got some secrets. I'm telling you, man. I've had this thought for a while. We didn't get any really info on her in season one. I would love some info on her in season two. But I enjoyed that. It was really cute, really fun. There were some funny moments. And I want to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.